welcome to Dog Shots TV. My name is Donnie and this little guy is Archie. Hey guys, Donnie here for Doug Shots TV. Today we're at Fanny Side Lock, and that's not a joke. Someone at some point actually called this place Fanny Side Lock. Um, and it's bloody freezing. So today I'm going to be sharing my most basic dog photography tips. Um, if you're struggling to get pictures of your dog or anything like that, if you apply these basic rules, then you will in time get better pictures with a little practice. Um, as I say, they're very basic, but it's rules that I follow all the time. So, let's do this. Tip one is getting down to eye level with your dog. I'm not saying you can't get a picture from up from a higher point of view, but generally speaking, your picture's gonna look better down at their eye level. Um, and that goes for everything. That goes for kids and babies, um, people sitting down in chairs, just anything really. Um, eye level always kind of works better, generally nine times out of 10 anyway. Tip two, think about the background. Um, now for me, the background is just as important as the foreground. Um, and today, as you know, I've came to Fannyside Lock and I can't ask for much of a better background than that. Uh, a bad background can, basically, it can completely ruin a shot. So when you're thinking about a background, a good place to start is somewhere that's, that you know that's maybe uncluttered. If you think beach, uh, the backgrounds there are absolutely awesome. I know that not everyone lives near a beach, I don't, so well I'm about an hour away. Um, so I kind of look for places like this. Um, and you know, parks that have got big wide open spaces, you're really giving yourself a good shot there. Tip three, take lots of shots. Now, I would much rather take lots of shots, get home, discover that most of them didn't work out, um, delete 99% of them just to get that one keeper. Um, I would hate to get home and just take a few pictures and none of them work out. And I'll, and I'll show it from today. I'm going to take some pictures today and I'm going to, I'll put on the screen just now some of them that I'm going to delete, ones that just didn't work out. Um, th that's what happens. We're working with dogs. They, they can just move their head just at the wrong time or, or they could move their whole body at the wrong time, kind of run away or whatever. So yeah, take lots and lots of shots and delete them. It's no hassle to delete shots. If you keep doing that, I pretty much guarantee you're going to get a good photo. So I see a lot of pictures from up here, but if we just put in that little bit of effort and just come down low, you should see that getting better and better, looking at the background as well. And then, really, once we're there, we take lots of shots. Come here. So I've set up at this little area here. Um, get Archie with me. Hello, John. Hello. Um, and we're going to try and get some shots here using those basic rules that I just told you. So it's going to be get low, think about the background, and take lots of shots. And that's what I'm going to do. So here goes. <laughs> Praise your dog and reward them. Stay in. You'll soon get used to the camera and realise that it's a good thing. So, that was just the one scene there, and I probably got about 20 shots. Maybe. So I'm going to continue my walk around here with Archie. Um, 
going to get low, take the background into consideration, I'm going to take lots of pictures um, and I'm going to post them on the end of this video. That was my top three tips, uh, very very basic but real ones that I follow all the time. Um, I'm going to list them at, it's going to be at www.dugshots.co.uk forward slash top tips and I'm going to keep adding to that list as I go. And um, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, um, share with your friends, your dog loving friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, Donnie and Archie.